In this tip of the day, let's take a look at using one CNC to contain toolpath along the Z-axis. In this example, you can see we have a solid model and we also have some wireframe geometry. Let's quickly head over to the command manager, select model toolpaths and Z-level rough. First thing we need to do is define a tool. I'm going to be using a 5 8 diameter bullnose end mill with a 0.125 tip radius. We'll click next. My clearance values look great. I'm going to leave those alone. We'll click next on that. For the toolpath strategy, I'm going to be using high speed closed. Let's click next on that. I'm going to use plunge for my approach style. We'll click next on that. My step over is set at 75% of the tool diameter and the depth of cut is set to 200 thousandths. Very good. So let's click next. Now these first two parameters we're going to be using to help contain the toolpath around the XY axis. For boundary type, I'm going to use picked. That simply means that we're going to be given the opportunity to pick our wireframe boundary. For tool placement, I'm going to use inside the boundary because I want my tool to be completely contained within the boundary on the inside. All right, now here's the focus of this video, these bottom three parameters. This helps us set up an envelope along the z-axis to contain the toolpath. Right now this envelope starts at z0, terminates at z minus 0.8. That simply means that the toolpath is going to be contained within that envelope. Now if you want to, you can use 1CNC to help calculate that envelope. If you activate automatic Z and type in an offset amount, let's type in 0, 1CNC will scan the geometry and it's going to say the very top of the geometry is at Z0 and the bottom of the geometry is at Z minus 1.38. This now defines a brand new boundary and the toolpath will be contained inside this boundary along the Z axis. I'm going to uncheck this and just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to make this minus 0.8. We'll click finish on that. I'm going to left click the boundary, right click, and let 1CNC generate the toolpath. All right, so if I hit the spacebar twice, you can see that the wireframe geometry contained the toolpath along the XY axis. Now if I were to change views to the front view, you can see that the toolpath along the Z axis is contained within that envelope we set up starting at Z0 and terminating at Z minus 0.8. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.